Hi, everyone, and welcome back to The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Thursday, October 28th, 2021. I'm Greg Wilkins, and I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will help encourage, inspire, and motivate you, and prayerfully put a smile on your face. Today's devotional is entitled, The Ivory Tower. In Matthew chapter 18, Jesus gives a parable to his disciples about forgiveness and grace and mercy. He tells them about a king who had a servant and the servant owed him 10,000 talents, which is a lot of money. And so the king was going to have him disposed and have him thrown in jail and all kinds of matter of torture done to him. But he begged, he begged for the king's grace and mercy and he devoured his loyalty to him. And the king looked upon him and he said, you know what, I forgive the debt, go along your way. He was great, he was happy, he was thankful. And a little bit later, that same servant had a servant of his own who owned him, according to the Bible, 500 pences, which is far, far, far much less than the money he owed the king. But he went up to him, grabbed him by the throat and said, pay me what you owe me. And, he said, and the same, that same servant begged him and pleaded him and said, uh, I don't have it right now, but give me grace and mercy, I'll pay you back. And he said, nope, nope, you owe me, so I'm gonna throw you in jail now. And the king found out what the, his servant did. And of course he had him punished for what the grace that he did not show to his servant. And I told you that story to bring you back to the theme of the day's devotional, the ivory tower. We have all been blessed to receive God's grace and mercy all throughout our lives, but we often forget sometimes to extend that same grace and mercy and forgiveness to each other. It's what we call the ivory tower syndrome. Sometimes we forget where we came from. And when we look at others and we see them being despondent or we see them out of sorts or we see them misbehaving or acting out, we look at them from the egg, from down from the tip of our nose like we're disgusted at what we're seeing or how they're acting. And we just turn our nose up at them and just we act like as if we were born holy, that we were born pure and that we didn't make a mistake in our own lives. I want to encourage you and remind you on today that we have all fallen short of the glory of God. We've all seen, we all made our own mistakes and the same grace and mercy that God has extended to us. We are charged to extend that same grace and mercy to others. This reminds me of a story of not a story, but a time when I lived in New Jersey and we had a, we had a church conference with a lot of other churches in the area. And the church I attended at the time lived in a not so great neighborhood, but we were wondering why the people in the neighborhood wouldn't come to the church, particularly the young people. The young people were going towards gangs and other nefarious activities. And one of the visiting preachers at the conference just came out and said, and I'll be blunt with you. We sit here as if we think we know all and we preach all, we, we know everything. I asked these kids, why don't they come to church? I asked them, and they said, simply because y'all don't seem, y'all don't seem to love us. Y'all judge us too much. Y'all look at us and what we wear and just think we're up to no good. You automatically think we're up to no good. And since we can't get no love from y'all, we go somewhere else where we feel loved. And that's what the, that's what the world needs now. And the world needs more love. But we tend to start judging people when they don't act like we act or act like we think they should act. We've got to remember we've all come from somewhere and we've all been extended grace and mercy, not only by God, but from other people in our lives. So I encourage you. So let's, let us all come out of our ivory towers. Let's humble ourselves and let's look at each other with compassion and love. We are all God's children. So we should all strive to love each other in the way God loved us. The Bible tells us in John 13, 34 through 35, a new commandment I give you that you love one another as I loved you. And the world will know that you are my disciples by the love ye show one to another. The way we treat each other is what people are gonna remember us by. Maya Angelou said, people may forget what you say. People will never forget what you do, but they'll never forget how you make them feel. So I encourage you, let's reach out to each other. Let's continue to love each other. Let's stop judging each other. Stop putting each other in boxes because they look another way or they act another way or they make mistakes in a certain way. We've all made mistakes. So I encourage you, let's look at ourselves. Let's make sure that we're right. And let's extend the love that God's extended to us. Today's feature song is a beautiful song by Israel Houghton called Others. And the song basically says he looks out at the world and he sees everything that's going on, all the hurt, all the pain, all the strife, and it hurts his soul. So what do I need to do? I'm blessed to be where I am at. So let me love others.
as you loved me, God. Let me strive to be the vessel that you use to show the love that you showed me. Let me show the care and compassion that you showed me. Let me show the grace and mercy to others that you showed me. Let me show the forgiveness to others that you showed me, Lord. And that's what that song is about. So I encourage you once again, let us get out of our ivory towers and let us continue to love, be compassionate, correct each other in love, embrace each other in love, forgive each other, move forward together. I said it before and I'll say it again. We are stronger together and we are necessary. Everybody in the body of Christ is necessary. So let's not tear each other down in our words and our actions. Let's not be haughty and judgmental against each other. But let's remember, we all come from somewhere. We all been delivered from something. So let us not think that we're all perfect because we've been delivered. It's our job to extend the grace and mercy that's been extended to us, to others. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for what you have done for us. We thank you for the example you set for us. Lord, let us continue to follow in the example of extending love and grace and mercy to all of us. There are things we do not understand. There are some things we will get wrong. So Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. And Lord, we ask you to help us forgive those who wronged us. Help us forgive ourselves for thinking that we're less than who we are through you. So Lord, let us continue to extend grace and mercy to each other. Let's get it all out of our ivory towers. Let's be less judgmental of each other. And let us love each other, not by just words, but by our actions. In Jesus' name, amen. Before we go, I'd like to give some birthday shout outs on today. Happy birthday to Veronica Hughes and happy birthday to Kristen Law. Kristen and Veronica, I pray God blesses you with many more birthdays and that you enjoy your birthday to the fullest of your ability. Now, if you have any birthday or anniversary shout outs for that matter, as well as any comments, song requests, devotional topic requests, or any performances that you would like to send them via video to be a, a part of this devotional, do so by leaving them in the comment section below or reach out to me at The Daily Pause on Facebook or by email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com. I pray that today's devotional will give us the encouragement to realize and understand that we've all come from something and that we all need to extend the grace and mercy to others and the love to others that's been extended to us. Enjoy today's feature song, Others by Israel Holton from the album, Love God, Love People, The London Sessions, released in 2010 by Integrity Music. Continue to love each other, continue to be safe, and remember, every day there is always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I'll see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song. It starts right now. God bless and continue to share the grace, mercy, and love that God has shared with us to everyone you meet on today.
have held the children unseen And they move me I wonder what I can do To improve the thousand lives I feel the absence of love And it scares me I feel responsible Love, love like you love. Help me love others. 